you get the award, tell me a little bit about um, how it feels not only to get the award, but to be the first woman to do so. Um, I guess it's just really cool because I didn't know that much background about it, and then as I got the award and I found out more, you know, information on it, um, I think being the first woman is pretty cool. I mean, the award hasn't been around that long, but it just makes it unique and a special title. <laughs> Uh, the Valley Leadership Award is a relatively new award given out in SUNY, but it's a very prestigious award in the fact that it's only given to one stu SUNY student throughout the entire state. So there's 64 campuses eligible, so it's a highly competitive award. There's thousands of student athletes that are eligible to win this type of award. So I'm told that the four finalists came from two Division I programs in Albany and Binghamton and another finalist from Portland, which is a Division III powerhouse. So for a small school like SUNY Kent to have the actual winner here is quite a remarkable achievement, and it really does show what a terrific student athlete. Tom, um, well, my running career, I definitely was able to take like an opportunity being a big fish in like a little pond. I guess that's how my coach always tells it to me. Because uh, we do have a small team, but we're a close team, and um, I think it just really gave me the opportunity. As my freshman year, like I came out and I was a top runner, and like. I knew I just wanted to do better and I wanted to get back to like my high school time. I feel like cross country is a lot different than other sports because you're you're just a lot closer as a team, I feel like. And uh, you like rely on each other. Now I use it as just like a way to stay in shape and like an outlet for like, you know, when you're frustrated, you have a bad day, like something like that. I just run is like the first thing I want to do to get things off my mind. Uh, SUNY sends out a nomination form to all of their schools and we pick Megan right away. She's been just an exceptional student and athlete. She's got a 3.96 GPA. She does tremendous things around the community. She works in Special Olympics and our moves off the health day, as well as our cross country labor day. She's working the admissions office. She's now interning in the public relations office. She does a little bit of everything, not only for the school, the community, for her team, for the athletic department. She's an ideal student athlete and, and one of the best that I've ever had. Sometimes we overlook it with Megan, what a great runner she is. She has been our top runner for three straight years here at SUNY Camp on the women's side, and she has been spectacular. She's won invitations, she just continues to achieve as a runner, yet we overlook that sometimes because she's such a great student with a 3.96 GPA, and she's involved in so many other things. So it's terrific to get all of that in one student athlete. It's just really a rare thing, and she's a, a terrific person, a great individual. We've been so proud of her, and this uh, this award is just a culmination of a lot of hard work in every aspect of the world. Academics, tell me a little bit about um, what you're majoring in and um, how you're schooling. Going good. I'm actually having a really good semester. Um, well, I have my associate's degree in business administration, which is really exciting. Um, I just want to go to graduate early, which is pretty cool, and um, I'll have my bachelor's in management, a minor in marketing, and a minor in economics, and uh, I don't know, I definitely spend a lot of time in my schoolwork, but it's worth it, I mean, I think it's pretty, pretty cool to have a good GPA and, you know, be in sports and stuff, so. You put it, you need going, faster, come on, <laughs> faster, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, oh, what type of work do you do in the community? Um, we have a lot of programs around here. I mean, one of our big things that's coming up is the Special Olympics. I believe that's in like April, and um, they bring like special special needs students here, or students, and, I guess it's kids and adults, and um, we do like the Olympics for them here. So that's a really big thing again. That's really cool. And then we have like rooftop health day, and um, the cross country team actually does this lake to lake relay every year where we fundraise money and then we run from Lake Champlain to Lake Ontario. And uh, it's like a 24 hour relay where we like, someone goes out and runs a two mile leg and then you switch off the baton and it's crazy, but it's definitely like a good way to raise money and then we can, you know, get wood bags and things like that. Oh, I love it. I think one of my favorite parts about 
the fact that the school does so much for me, I love to like go out and like. I mean, the school really. I can't. I've had such great opportunities here that like I wish other people could understand. Like, you just gotta take advantage of everything that's handed to you. So I, I like this.